A jury is seated and opening arguments get underway in the trial of Dwight DeLee tomorrow. He's the man at the center of the murder as a hate crime trial in the shooting death of Letitia Green. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski is covering the case for us. Jeff, will prosecutors have a tough time getting a conviction on the hate crime charge? Well, Carrie, it's certainly a very rare charge pretty much anywhere in the U.S. Right here in Onondaga County, it's actually the first hate crime murder trial under New York state law. But prosecutors are moving right ahead. They went through openers and they had their first witness called to the stand. That is Letitia Green's brother, Mark Cannon. He took it the stand a little bit after 4 o'clock, testified for almost an hour. He gave detailed testimony of being grazed by the same bullet that also killed Letitia Green last November. The two were in a parked car with a friend outside a house party when Cannon said says Dwight DeLee came up to the car and fired once. Prosecutors argue it was because Letitia Green was gay. National gay rights groups are here to support Letitia's family. If convicted, Dwight DeLee would be only the second person in the United States found guilty of hate crime murder of a transgendered person. And other helpful I mean, it is all too common. It is to say that we just haven't had the kinds of prosecutions that we'd like to see, and that makes this incredibly significant. This week will be one of the most painful and challenging ones my family will ever have to face. Now, Dali is facing both a murder and the hate crime murder charge. And here's the difference. That hate crime murder charge, well, that ups the minimum sentence from 15 to life to 20 to life. The maximum sentences are the same for both. Live outside the Onondaga County Courthouse, Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Thank you, Jeff. This past weekend, friends and family held a day-long vigil in honor of Letitia Green. They're asking lawmakers to approve legislation that protects transgender people.